Okay. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to color hair. You know what I'm saying? Give it that realistic texture. So without further ado, let's jump right into this thing. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to find a good picture to use. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stretch it out and make it a little bigger. And how I stretch the pictures out without changing the, the uh, shape of the picture, you just got to hold shift and you hold alt at the same time. And it'll keep everything in proportion. It'll just make the size change. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to drop the opacity down. And on this video, I'm not going to do all the coloring on the skin layer. You know what I'm saying? Because we just focusing on the hair. Another thing, too, you want to go ahead and go to your brush and set your pressure. So make sure if you're trying to follow this tutorial, you got a digital art tablet so you'll be able to get the pressure option. You must be able to get the pressure option before you can do anything I'm going to show you, especially turning the gradient tool into a brush you gotta have a pressure option and the only way you can get the pressure option if you got a, a digital art tablet you know what i'm saying and i put one on the stream so y'all can see exactly what you would need to be able to achieve the pressure option because you cannot get the pressure option with just your mouse so let me come right here change my pressure to my brush Change these two bottom numbers to three. And now I got my brush with pressure. So it's not no special brush I'm using. I'm just using the pressure where if I press light, it'll go light. When I press harder, it'll be more harder. So that's how I get that style of brush. I'm just using the different pressure techniques. So let's go ahead and we'll do a quick sketch of the face. You know what I'm saying? So the hair don't look like it's floating. We're just going to do a fast little quick little sketch since it's just going to be mainly a hair tutorial, dog. We're just going to put this right here like that. Just come up. Let's see. Right there like that. I'm still like a little perfectionist. We're trying to get it looking at least decent. You feel me? Got a little eyelash. It's over like that. Bit. It's good enough. Go ahead and close this off. Close this here. So the main focus of this tutorial is the hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving us something to work with with the face. So we ain't trying to make it perfect. So let's come over here to our pencil tool. And you wanna right click it, get your pencil tool out. Double click your pencil tool, make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look exactly like mine's hit ok move this color black to the top and make sure your bottom color layer is locked so we can use that as a fill in and what you do is you just trace the area you want to fill in and it'll fill in the inner area of your fill so i'm just tracing this out so it can fill all that in I'm gonna do the same thing right here on the eyes. Make a little 
eyelash effect. The same thing on this side. And a little eyelash effect. There we go. Made the eyelash effect. Now we got a nice little face to work with. Now we're gonna use this pencil tool to fill in a good portion of the hair. So what you want to do is you want to kind of make a nice little trace around the shape of the hair. Make a nice trace around it. You know what I'm saying? Make a nice trace. And then we're gonna come back with our brush and we're gonna add some details in there. So your pencil tool can really come in handy, man, as far as saving you time. So let's go ahead and come up here, clean that line up with our pencil. Clean that one up. Bring this hair on down. Bring it on down. Make a nice little shape. Just like that. Come back here. Do the same thing. Just get a nice little feel. Fill in. Just a nice little quick fill in. Now, we're gonna come back with our brush tool. You wanna make your brush small as you can get it. Wanna zoom, zoom in. And now we can add these individual hairs that's gonna fade in. You know what I'm saying? So before we even start the effect on the hair, we just gotta make sure we got some tight, some tight line work. So we're just gonna make these hairs fade in. And if you want the fade to look real nice, the, the further you get away from the top part of the hair, you gotta spread the, spread the hairs out. And then when you get closer up, you gotta bring them in closer together. So it'll look like it's fading up. It'll have a nice little fade. So we're gonna fade this up just like that. It's a quick little fade. Take a step back, see how we looking. Now we're gonna come right here. And we just gonna add some hairs to give it a, a nice little detail effect like it's a lot a lot of pieces of hair going on bring this up make that fade take a little step back see how we looking okay Cool is good. We're going to make our brush just a tad bigger. We're going to make the hairs come this way. And we're just going to give it some fill-ins. So it'll really look like it's attached to the scalp. You know what I'm saying? Really make the hairs look attached. Okay. Now we got a nice little fit going. Now we need to come out here. Make our brush a little bigger. Let me see. Make our brush like a two.
also need to give it some nice little fill in layers just to make it like everything flowing Just make it look more full, you know what I'm saying? And it's so come back here and just keep adding till we get it nice and full. got that what you want to do is you want to create a layer right above your hair layer you know what I'm saying and you want to go to you want to go to your swatches and I, I just got rid of mine so you'll know where to find it you want to come up here to windows you want to go to swatches and then you want to find come right here the swatch libraries menu and you want to find you want to find a gradient okay here we go gradients right here and now we're just looking for a gradient swatch it can be any color because what you're going to do is change the colors anyway so after you select a gradient you want to come right here over here to gradient where you can tweak it and we're gonna click the edges. We're gonna select one edge and we're gonna make it make it dark. We can just make it black for right now. We're gonna click this edge and we're gonna make it black. And we're gonna click the center edge and we're gonna make it white. What you wanna do, you wanna pull the black edges right here closer to the white. So it have a fade. After you do that, you want to make the center color half color. You know what I'm saying? That blend. So we can create like a nice little fade. So after we do that, we're going to select this black. And we're going to tweak it a little bit so it'll fade into a color. So it'll have a better blend. Let's tweak it a little bit. Fade that into a color. We're going to bring it a little closer. And now, we just, after you create your gradient, you just go to your brush. And click your gradient. Move your gradient to the bottom so it'll be in use. And now we got our gradient brush. Now I'm finna come to this 0 0.75 brush. And we're gonna create the hair texture. So you just draw above the line work. And you use the gradient to look like it's a nice hair texture you know what I'm saying and with it fading into when you made both of your edges black and you made your center color brighter that's what give it that nice fade to look like it's really the shadows and the glare of hair you know what I'm saying so it's all about knowing how to manipulate manipulate I said manipulate <laughs> manipulate I said it again. <laughs> Manipulate your gradient to to make it see how it's fading. But my edges are black, so it fades right into the black base color. 
it just fade into it since i made both the edges black it's gonna fade right back into it and it's gonna have a smooth transition and i'm just looking at my picture and i'm putting my put my little shadows Sometimes I'll be not delete these down here because they look messy. Come right here to my gradient map. I know I ain't gonna do that. Trying to get this gradient to flow. So we select it. And sometimes you have to change the uh, the direction you want the gradient to flow. And how you do that, you just make a line and just say, if I don't like the way the flow is going or the gradient, I just select that line. I make sure my gradient is at the bottom and it's selected. Then I come over here and I just change it. So... I can find out what direction I want the gradient to flow. You know what I'm saying? And I click off of it once I found the right direction I needed the gradient to flow.
her this gradient to flow different so I'm gonna select it make sure I got this selected right here come right here and change this the flow or the gradient by moving these numbers so I see the gradient move exactly where I need it to be then I'm gonna come back and finish drawing my lines And there you have it you guys how to make the hair texture inside of Adobe Illustrator don't forget if you're new to the channel hit that post notification hit that like button more heat coming soon and I'm out this thing